Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. And we are doing September in Setestal, our road trip in Setestal where we are going to be featuring uh, artisans, craftspeople, very talented people around the area. So if you've been following us, you'll know that we talk a lot about Husfliden, a particular type of store in Norway where they sell high quality crafts, they sell yarn for knitting, and they have their own sewing rooms where they make bespoke folk costumes. And today we're going to take a look at the shop and we're going to look at the atelier where they actually make the folk costumes. And we have decided we have to have our own Satis Dahl sweaters because we have borrowed these yes. and we really like them and we can order them here. So they have to take our measurements and decide how it should look. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about the folk costumes. Yeah. So come on and join us as we come into the Valle Husfleet Central and here in Valle in Setestal. So welcome, follow us. Okay, here we are inside the Husfliden here in the Valle. Setstal, as you can see, um, there's a lot of stuff here that is uh, related to the full costumes because people order them and they get them custom made here in the shop. So, uh, yeah, we've got the Setstal sweaters. Uh, these are borrowed, as Arne said. We're going to get <laughs> measured and we're going to order some because we want to support uh, local communities. Um, yeah, and they've got a lot of uh, really nice stuff here. So uh, these are different styles of the Satisal sweater yeah. that you can buy. You can even buy package uh, embroidery em kits. Kits, so you can make your own embroidery. There's books. There is uh, arts and crafts. Uh, here's some nice uh, woven tablecloths. And here you can see the folk costume with all the beautiful silver and the embroideries. These are custom made for customers in store. Uh, usually, well, we'll talk about that later. It takes a long time yeah. to get them made and delivered. And uh, here you have different styles again of the set style sweater and jackets. And you've got uh, sweaters. These are more modern versions of the set style sweater uh, by Rauma. And of course, there's a lot of yarn. Yeah, knitting patterns, <laughs> lots of yarn. Uh, all of this is Norwegian yarn. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, in case you're wondering, uh, a skein of uh, 50 grams of Norwegian 100% yarn local is 47 Norwegian kroner, which apparently is very cheap. Uh, so how much is that in dollars? It's five dollars and 34 cents, including tax. So. Come to Norway, buy a lot, and bring an empty suitcase <laughs> to buy a lot of yarn. Yeah. That's, That's what sure. they do. People who come on our cruises, they always bring an empty suitcase for yeah. the yarn. And you can find yarn every, in every small town in Norway. Yeah. And yeah, and here on the other side, we have some uh, wood carving stuff, uh, wooden utensils, cups. Uh, yeah, everything of high quality, um, handmade. Uh, is sold in Husfrid stores all over Norway. Um, yeah. Yeah, but now Carlos is, is the most important thing. Yeah. What we came for. We're going to be we're going to be measured uh, for our Setestal sweaters. And are we going to do this in English or in Norwegian? Well, we do it in both. Okay. We'll See do what it in happens. Both languages. We don't want any misunderstanding, so it's better to speak Norwegian. And to help us uh, get measured and uh, get our order through, we have Malmfrid here. Hello, Malmfrid. Hello. Hello. Yes. Thank you for uh, having us uh, over at your yes. store. So, Malmfrid, når folk vil ha sig sætterskræftet, da kender de til det. Ja, i alle fald til sætterstalhuslid. Ja. Ja. Og uh, av og til så har vi jo nogen, som passer, men stort set så, må, så blir de laget på mål. Ja, ja. Mm. og det var det vi tänkte vi skulle få her. Ja. Uh, vi skal bestille oss hver vår uh, kofte. Nu har vi varit her en liten stund, så vi har jo lært litt da. <laughs> ja. Uh, ja. Og vi vet at Arne, han skal ha klassisk, ja. Ja. og jeg skal Denne ha type. antik. Okay. Så, så langt har vi kommet, mm -hmm. um, og vi er, vi er blitt uh, ganske glad i disse kofter som vi har fått låne av dere. Da. 
Ja. Så eh, vi vill inte gå för mycket ifrån det vi allerede har på oss då. Nej. Och det är syns störrelsen på dig där har passar. Mm, någon små variationer helt. Så. Vi, vi tränger någon små modifikationer här och där. Okej, okay, men, men inte mycket. Så jag tror vi tränger ta några mål. Ja, men jag ska ta några mål. Det jag lurar lite på är det att visst du ser din är ju lite vidare ja. än din. Ja. Vill du ha den vidda? Ja, ja. Fast... Du vill ju ha en vidare. Eh, no vi är okay. inte mycket. Mm. Men alltså detta snitt för mig passar väldigt bra och Arne syns det snittet passar han väldigt ja. bra. Och längd då så nu. Ja, lite bara lite förändring kanske. Ja, men det tar vi. Det tackar vi. Ja. ja. Vi kan se. Men stort sett vi håller oss till samma snitt alltså respektive då. Ja. Ja, du kan börja med det för ja. du vill ha en annan vidde på bord. So I'm ready to be measured. Uh, of course, we have to follow the COVID uh, restrictions in Norway. The restrictions are that if you cannot keep uh, three feet apart, so one meter, you need to wear a face mask. And uh, I got my face mask here. <laughs> so. And uh, Arne, I'm sure people are going to wonder where you can get these. They are on our website. Just look for face masks. Merchandise. Merch I, I, I have the one with the Satisdal pattern. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So I'm ready to be Not that measured. I need it, because yes. I'm not standing close to you right now. Okay, first we take the... No, now we start to English. And what are we doing? The breast measurements. Mm -hmm. Chest measurements. Chest measurements. Och så tar vi rätt och slett mål. Eller om du ska snu det, då tar vi målet. Och det är lite annorlunda än till vanlig för då tar de rätt och slett mitt bak. Mm -hmm. Och så ut arm, rätt ut arm. So middle of back and all the way out to the cuff. Yeah. So is that because it's maybe that's because it's knitwear, it's yeah. elastic. So center back to cuff. Center back to cuff. Mhm. Mm uh... Och så lurar jag upp. Nu kan du snu dig igen och så lurar jag på och lång du vill ha den. Ja, jag plejer vara runt 65 cm längre från okay. högsta punkt. 65 då är vi där. Nej, vi får gå lite längre. 60, okay. vi tar, ja, 69, 70. Kan vi bara ta kan få låna målbandet? Ja. Så. Ah. Jag sa 65. Eh, ja. det var ett gott ögonmål faktiskt. Mm. Den är 66 och det är eh, runt där 66 67. Ja. Och sån till vanlig vilket större brukar du? Eh, medium. Medium. Mm -hmm. mm. Ja. ja, det är det vi tränger. Ja. Ah. Rätt och slett och så måste vi ju ha namn och telefonnummer och sånt men det får vi ta ett på. Ja, det får vi. Ja. Och då är det egentligen då är du ganska närt den här kan jag tänka mig. Ja. Mm. Så och du vill ha där broder i och. Ja ja ja. I would like to order a antique uh, set of star sweater with uh, similar embroidery as here. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the measurement uh, I'm actually quite happy with the measurements of this uh, sweater um, although I need the sleeve to be a couple of centimeters longer. And uh, uh, can I borrow the measuring tape? Yes, of course. And I think the chest measurement has to be, um, let's see, two centimeters. Yeah, a little bit more also, a um, couple of centimeters wider than this. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I want. That's so two centimeters, a few centimeters with a little more than I guess I will think. Mm -hmm. Och så tänker jag mig att en sån typ av hemper då. Ja, men det är flott. Det är väldigt enkelt. Det är mina ända enklare. Ja. För det är väldigt förnöjd med detta volym här. Ja. Så länge det kommer i sån och gående så blir den väl lik. Jag tror jag bara. Ja. Visst du håller den i mens. Ja. Är lika väldigt gott den längda på ärmo. Så så vi vi ska bara vi ska bara bruka målan på denna här. Och och du vill ha en så lång parmanne. Ja, jag tyckte det var väldigt fint. Okej. Okay. Likte den armlängda. Ja. Men nästa att du vill ha någon centimeter. Jag lurar på skulle bara lägga på lite grann. Då ser att om du lägger på ett par runder med loose extra. Mm. Så du får ördigt i den här längden. 3 cm kanske. Mm. 
ekstra i lengde. Ja, ja da blir det tre rapporter med lus. Og ellers er jeg helt fornøyd med alle de målene. Ja, men da måler vi bare genser. Ja. Og så tenkte jeg på broderi. Oi, jeg vil ha akkurat det samme broderi, men jeg kunne godt tenkt meg å ha litt andre farger her. Litt sprekere. Jeg bare vil si at du legger inn litt rosa eller... Inn litt rosa. Der er jo en annen grønn farge. Vi har jo masse farger der borte. Ja. Så du kunne egentlig velge litt, og det er det du vil ha. Ja, skal vi gjøre det? Skal vi se på fargen? Ja. Skal vi se på. Det kalles jo for løyegarn. Det er løyegarn, ja. Og det er spesialfarger. Ja. Så du kan ha rødt, og du kan ha rosa. Jeg fikk lyst til å ha litt lekke. Ja. Jeg spriter opp med litt rosa. Jeg synes den grønne der er også fint. Og den er grønne også, at det blir litt freskere. Men røde og blå, ja, den er blå der. Men du må ha rødt også, vet du. Ja, det er rødt også. Det er standard. Det skal se rødt ut. Ja. Kanskje den er nesten penere. Ja, det er nesten sånn. Ja, men hvis vi sier da, for det skal være fire farger, det skal være flere. Du kan ha flere, og du kan ha... Nå er jo dette vanlig kroller. Ja. Du kan jo ha... Det er noe som kalles for jasekroller. Jaha. Og de har en sånn ekstra hale. Ok. Du kan ha det der også, men da blir det... Jeg vet ikke, du får et annet inntrykk av det. Du må i hvert fall se det, hvis du vil ha det. Men jeg synes hvis du beholder dette her, og så har du de fergene, så blir det veldig fint, altså. Altså det du kan er jo det at du kan beholde de, og så kan du skifte ut en av de røde med den rosa. Ja, det er kanskje enda penere. Eller du kan, det kan du også, du kan ha disse her med to, for det skal liksom være to røde, og så den innimellom. At du har to røde, og så har du en blå, og så har du to røde, og så har du en rosa, to røde og en grønn. Det høres bra ut. For eksempel. Da kjører vi på deg. Yes. Ja. Da trenger du det så over der. Jeg må i hvert fall skrive det ned. Skrive det ned, ja. Ja, det må jeg. Ok, Arne. You're gonna have to, I don't know, I mean, it is quite warm here. But, yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave your sweater here. So that... Malmfrid kan ta de measurements av det, så at de kan rekreere det for deg. Og hva om vi går opp og ser hva som går opp oppe på sovingen, hvor de faktisk kreerer de folkekostymene vi snakket om. Hva skal vi gjøre? Hva skal vi gjøre? Hva skal vi gjøre? Hva skal vi gjøre? Takk. Det er ikke det. Ok, så vi har nå kommet opp på sovingstudio her på Husfriden i Valla i Sattestad. Og vi er her med Karin Bø, som jobber her. Du jobber her som tailor, og du gjør bespoke folkekostymer for dine kunder. Ta oss litt om prosessen. Ja, så når kunderne kontakter oss, og de vil ha trouser og vest, de er alltid sammen. Hvis du vil ha trouser, så har du alltid... A vest. At the same time. At the same time. So they are together. And then we measure them. And then we cut the cloth. And we make this ready for embroidery. Oh. This is for... Yeah, it's not mine. No, you said. Yeah, this is the canvas. The canvas. So you can count the pattern, the stitches. And there's a skin. Yeah. And then they, uh, we uh, put it away to some other people who yeah. can uh, do the embroideries. And that is done. We lo don't do locally. that. So yes. you yeah, yeah you send away yeah. the you when you have this prepared. So this yes. one here is ready to be sent away. Yes. And then somebody will do the embroidery. Yes. And then it will come back here. Yes. And sometimes they want to to do it themselves, yeah. and we help them with cutting the cloth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. and they do the embroideries themselves, and then they come back to us, and we. Put it together. Yeah, our our viewers will be familiar with something like that because Arne and I we did it. We went to uh, the Husfrid in Lillehammer. We bought uh, the cloth already cut, and then we went home and we made it ourselves. Mm. So yeah, I'm sure you have that option yes. too. But yes. we don't have all the embroideries. No, no uh, embroideries for us. Yeah. Well, we have one on the jacket yeah. that we'll make ourselves, but nothing compared to this. <laughs> 
<laughs> so when they have the, the embroideries are finished, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. And here's the rest of the trousers. Oh, this is the front of the trouser. Yeah. And this is the foot. Mm. Yeah, yeah. By the legs. Wow. And here you can see uh, more colors. Wow. Mm. So this is now finished to be sewn. Yes. To be put together. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then we, uh, we, uh, and then they are, we um, sew it together yeah. like this. And the cost, uh, customer come to us to uh, to try it on. Yeah. Fittings. And we, fitting. Yes, fittings, mm -hmm. and we can see if it uh, fits. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we do this. All uh, this green one. Yeah. The piping. 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 Yes. yes. So usually, how many how many fittings do you need with a customer? I mean, they come for the measuring, and then mm. maybe do they come like one time or maybe a couple of times? No, uh, usually they come the first time to do the original mess yeah. Me measurements, <laughs> yeah. measurements. And then uh, when we have put it together, they come and test if it's okay, and we do the final measurement. Me I Me can't say that word. Measurements. <laughs> measurements. <laughs> <laughs> you, do the, you, yes. you do the final tweaking to get it to fit yes. perfect. Yeah. And then uh, and we uh, put the foot on the yeah. on here, mm. and also the the vest. Yeah, yeah. But how does this work? Like, if a customer order the full costume and mm. you prepare all these things, and mm. this goes to the embroiderer, mm. does the customer know how this will look, or is it because they look different? Yeah. It's a lot of different uh, patterns you can yeah. choose yeah. and colors you can and choose. The customer, they maybe choose it beforehand and then they get. Yes, a some some do. Yeah. When we have some uh, photos, so they can. Uh, so they can pick a uh, design. Pick what they like. Yeah. Yes. So it's not like. Uh, what colors? But mostly they don't know. Mm. No, so they have to. Take <laughs> so we can what do what get. we like. Yeah, that's nice. So <laughs> say, uh, I have a question for you. Say that uh, today is April first. And I come in here and I say, you really need to help me. I'm going to go to celebrate uh, National Day on May 17th mm -hmm. uh, in 47 days. Uh, can you make me in a In 47 days? Is that possible? No. 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 I don't think so. You have to wait for next year. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah. how long? Mostly one year, we one say. Year. So yes. the waiting list for this is at one year? Yes. So you need to... Probably. Yeah. And, and this is for the men's costume. The, yes, the woman really is... Nice. That may be more work. Uh, no, it's uh, Sim similar. similar yeah. Yes, it's more embroideries uh, on the man costume. Oh, okay, but the woman's costume has something very interesting because we see them hanging there, the mm. skirts, mm. and they have all the pleating mm. that goes on uh, mm. on the fabric. That mm. that surely takes uh, some time. I mean, it needs to be pressed or rolled or something. Yes, but we don't do that. We get it from the fabric ah. and it looks like this. And it's yes. a very, very thick now. Yeah. It looks like it's very oh, thick. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. It's already been pleated. Yes, and they do that when we get it. And these threads have to be, uh, it is, has to be Before? like this for one year. One year? Okay. For one year before you take out the threads. Ah. So this is rolled up uh, for a whole year? Yes. Yeah, it's and if, uh, you, Anna, if you can send me one of these tests, or this is, this is an old one from a, when we have uh, changed. Yeah. This, um, I, in Setskar we say fed, fed yeah. Mm. So you took what, it out of the fed. old dress and yes, put it in? Yes, and yeah. put in a new one. And you can see when you stretch out, it's... Yeah. Quite a lot of fabric, yes. yeah. So, cool. so one year it has to be rolled up. Yes. And then, um, but then, I, if we understood it correctly, after you sew the skirt, it still needs to mm. rest. Yes. So when it's finished, we have uh, the skoren yeah. down. The red and the green. On yeah. the yes. Bottom. Then and and the folds. Yeah. yeah. On the, in the back, they ha it has to stand for one year. Okay. After it's. So, so this one for one year, and then this one, one for one year. year, so two years. So you can't come in here, Arne, desperate for a full costume. No. Uh, you have to but I don't know if before. you want to wear this skirt. No, maybe not. No. <laughs> but this it's easier than this well. one. Yeah, but this one takes a long time too, so uh, yes, yeah. Yes, all the embroideries. This is, this is craftsmanship at its best. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, 
every single piece is custom made for the client and every embroidery is different for every client yeah. there's mm. color choices that mm. they can choose there's designs that mm. they can choose mm. it's really beautiful but i don't know if we could do this ourselves because it takes so much time it will end up somewhere in the house <laughs> yeah as a like UFO. unfinished object the yeah. ufo <laughs> so but it's very tempting to have one of these mm. because it's so beautiful this is very beautiful. Yeah. So how many... Very special costume. It's so different from the rest mm. of Norway. Mm. Like is, you yeah. feel like the one we have from Gudbrandsdalen. It's more like a copy of the fashion mm. 100 years yeah. ago or something. Yeah. But this is so unique. It is, yes. yeah. But it's not very old. I think you have learned more about this. Yeah, earlier, it's not but so old, but it's so different. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. But most people, most kids in Sattestal, they have this for confirmation. Yes. Like, both boys and girls. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, most of them have their own, but some do borrow for the yeah. for the day. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, especially like when you're so young, you can change a lot. Yes, you <laughs> so can. <laughs> it's expensive. But you, we do them, make them so you can. Um, yeah, make them a, a little bit bigger after. Yeah, there's a lot years. of excess fabric inside yes. that you can mm. Uh, mm. enlarge. Them. You can actually so use you can them grow. Yeah. And then there's um, there's a sort of a belt or something for the skirt. Yes. And uh, which is woven. Yes. And you have uh, a we sample have, uh, yes. downstairs yes. for us to see. Yes. Very exciting. We have to take a look at that. Yes, Let's we go. must. Yeah. And we're going to see more of you because we are going to your place. Yeah, awesome. yes, Karin is not only creating or making the full costumes here, but also she's a weaver. So we will see more of her work in her place in a little while. But before that, let's go down let's and sew the belt. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for showing us. Okay. okay, I tried to say this in proper English, see how it works. We are now in the weaving room. That's perfect. Was it perfect? Yes. Oh, what did I say the last time? Weaving. 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 But we're in the weaving room yes. here at the Husfriden in Valle, and Arne is holding a beautiful, uh, it's a belt, it's right? a belt for mm. the women's. For the, for the skirt. Yes. yes. For yes. the women's skirt. And we have Linda. Hello, Linda. <laughs> and uh, Linda is uh, weaving uh, the, the belt yeah. on a, this is a Norwegian bondvev. Bond. It's a very special loom. I haven't seen this one before. No. And you have a, a quite a, a interesting uh, a knife, uh, but but you know we were a little bit like, <gasps> but actually it's not sharp at all. Um, and um, Linda is we weaving, and then she's pressing the threads down with uh, with her uh, really nice uh, knife. Can we can we have a little uh, demonstration? Looks. She has to pick the pattern. Hmm? Also, she has to pick the pack so pattern you, you, all the way. You pick the pattern with a yes. knife. Mm -hmm. Because you you have, she has to count every time. Yeah. So, so she uh, needs us to be quiet. Yeah, <laughs> you should shut up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and she has this long, long list. list of things to do. Yes. And she's pressing it back and... That's very cool. And do we have many different patterns for this? Or? Yes, there are several different patterns, yeah. but this is the most common pattern. Okay. It okay. is a crook. The same you have on your sweater mm. somewhere. Here. Yeah. You have the same Ooh. sweater. And, and this symbolizes water, I think. Yes. Is that mm. correct? And here you have cross and kringle. Yeah. yeah. The small. The version. X and the O. So you've got. Yes. 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 No, there's only kringle. No, there's only yeah. kringle. This is cross and kringle. Yeah. So you've got the X, you yeah, yeah. You've got the X and the O pattern on the belt, and mm. also the the, the crook, or mm. the crook. yeah, which symbolizes water. Mm. And yeah, she, Linda is now making this one. Mm. Yeah. Yes, she is. So we have these white threads. Uh, it's. The, the kind of bottom, see the bottom. Mm. Yeah, bottom. the bottom, yeah. yeah. And then you have the pattern with the red mm. threads. Oh, yeah. Always the red. Mm. The white red is so very you put important. them, if you think you have the, the white in the middle, and then you put the red one back uh, on the back or in the front mm -hmm. of the white.
takes a lot of time. Yeah. So uh, yeah, one of those belts will probably take. Uh, yes, it's long. Yes, it's very For, long. Because it's going two times around. Two times around the waist, the waist of course. Yes. So. And um, also this hanging yeah. down. So how long would it take to weave one? Linda, how long? Fifty hours. Fifty hours. Okay. <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot. That's. <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, this was a little tour of uh, what a uh, Norwegian uh, Husfliden uh, can look like. I say can because every single Husfliden in Norway specializes in a different fall costume. So they will have different embroidery techniques, they will have different weaving techniques, depending on the way the fall costume looks. It's been very interesting. It's been interesting. And um. We love uh, being here in uh, Valle with you guys. Um, so it's a little bit sad that we have to leave the shop. Mm. Uh, Arne might uh, want to buy some stuff. I know that I'm... You're picking some handcuffs? Or some cuffs, not handcuffs. Some cuffs for... Your, some buttons, sorry, for your... Oh yeah, for I, your cuffs. I, I've already picked them. Oh, you already did. You were very oh, efficient. I'm efficient. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to leave and let uh, Linda work in peace and quiet because she still has a long way to go before she finishes her belt. It's like uh, 48 hours so left. left. For, yeah. So, uh, see you and uh, Karin, uh, uh, we are going to see you again very soon because yes. we are going to uh, visit your place mm -hmm. and see uh, your weaving work as you mm -hmm. are a master weaver as well <laughs> as a sewer. Uh, so we can't wait to, to do that. Yes, and thank you so much for coming here. Thank Visit you for us at the Setsal Husfri. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And yes, thank you for your ordering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we have to pay too before people we leave. Will maybe. Say, no, not maybe, we have to pay. <laughs> so then people will say, why don't you knit it yourself? But we, are, we create a lot of unfinished objects yeah. and we like to have the real stuff. Plus, yes, we wanna, stuff. plus we want to support the local community, yeah. plus uh, the traditional way of knitting the set to start sweater is by hand knitting machine, which we don't have up right now, plus uh, <laughs> we don't know how to do the embroidery, so actually we can't do this ourselves. No, we want the real <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Arne, um, before we go to uh, the next place, yeah. How about some formalities? If you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on your notifications because then you won't miss an episode. And put yourself on the mailing list because then you won't miss anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Settled Stahls Month continues until the end of September 2021. So you still have a lot of things uh, left to see. Hope you've been enjoying yourself so far and we will see you again very, very soon. We post new episodes on Wednesdays and on Sundays. Bye. Bye. See you.